so stoked. This totally gives me hope. We've got the Capital Area Food Bank and Mobile Oaks and Fishes and different associations that help feed the homeless in small amounts. It's all traditional. Uh, nothing is electronic and new app style. So the, the smartphone applications or apps have allowed people to connect in new ways that the internet wasn't really doing for them. And so these, these what they call killer apps or apps have enabled people to totally reach out and do things that were never thought of before and this company these two companies have gotten together and they're working on apps in multiple cities from Baltimore to Austin and they are feeding the homeless through excess prepared food it's totally amazing gives me hope and it's revolutionary let's all get on board and do something to feed the homeless if you have a commercial kitchen or restaurant and you have excess food and you need to get the apps so you can connect yourself and your kitchen to the house list to help do the right thing for for the people in your community to make your community better um, and do the right thing for humanity and also do the right thing for your tax season for your tax write-offs it's as simple as that join the revolution you're now one of the selected just do it get the app so unsung and, and so unsung.org .org. and the guy that runs the organization his name is Jason King a, uh, his headquartered out of Baltimore right now but spreading with Arcade City on everything Again, I'm not sure how many cities they're in now but I know there's Baltimore, Austin, I believe Seattle, Washington as well as most all the cities. progressive cities right Correct. so and it's meant to help the homeless or, or and it's all about food and, and gathering it up and then re-distributing re, uh, it? Correct. We got, the way he has it, he's actually got an app he's cut, that's coming out, the Unsung app. Restaurants can go on there. If they've got food, they're just going to throw out anyway. Yeah. They'll put it on the app, I have this much pizza or okay. whatever that they have at that restaurant. And what, the way Arcade City's partnered up with them is you need people to transport that food to the people that need it. Uh -huh. So the Arcade the, City's we, kind of a ride sharing. We've partnered up with them under the under their charitable uh, deal. Okay. And we as the transportation piece of the food. We deliver it straight to the people that need it. So and so who pays for the gas? The gas. It's all under charity. So they're under the. So somebody donates gas money. Uh, and then it's it all non, well, non, from non taxable. Unsung. Yeah. Correct. Okay, and so what advantage is it for the restaurant other than not having a dumpster full? They can claim it on charity instead of just throwing the can food they, out anyway. Can they like get a, like a receipt? Correct. Okay, cool. And uh, how big is it in Austin so far? Uh, well, we, uh, back in uh, July, July or, was it July or August, we did the 1,000 meals. I think it was July, wasn't it? It would have been the July. Yeah, July we had a 1,000 meal competition between Austin and Baltimore, and we hit 1,000 meals before Baltimore did. Start drivers, and they'll have days like they'll for the day. A thousand meals for a no, day. A thousand meals in that month. In the month. They've donated. That's nice. So, and then we'll have days where uh, people will donate like groceries, like big old things of meat. And a lot of the drivers, well, they'll set up an event, they'll come over to the Arcade City place, and we'll prep food. Like, uh -huh. we make sandwiches and all kinds of other stuff. Okay. And we go out and just hit up people that we see and give them a meal. That's great. When was, when was, so this is a pizza party. Uh, yeah, well, we, we got the message from Jason King. I was like, how do you set this up? Well, the pizza place that these are coming from, apparently they made a duplicate order. Company ordered 30 pizzas, and I guess these 30 pizzas were made extra. That's a lot of food That's a lot loss, to duplicate, yeah. yeah. So instead of throwing it out, they contacted us. Yeah. This was all within the last two hours. Yeah. yeah. It's a really good it. thing. How do you feel like, how does it feel to feed the homeless? Oh, it's great. I mean, and, and, and all the time, you, you see the people up and down 7th Street alone. I mean, people just walk by them without giving them any, you know, there's a pregnant homeless lady over here that I yeah, know. I think we already. Her name's Bo. She has a boyfriend that has blonde, long hair. Yeah, her yeah. boyfriend came over here. And She's got her pretty school. far along. Yeah. yeah. So. I mean, these people. I mean, nobody pays no mind. So. They don't feel anybody cares. Exactly. So it's part of like your self-esteem is that someone cares, and he's like, nobody cares. No, we're like forgotten. Nobody cares. So that's kind of where it starts. Is that depression? And then, so that's why I have to, 
I do what I do is to help people care and, and to show that we care because if we have a privilege, you know, they talk about privilege, shame, and different things. It's not, it's only a shame if you don't use it to help others. Correct. So if you're using it properly, you know, it's it's not gonna, it's not shameful. That's correct. You know, like, like uh, you know, if you want to kneel at a, at a game because you feel for oppressed people, then feel free to do that. That's Anyways, it's here. great what you guys are doing. That's what we're here that's for, it. trying to help each other out. That's Leslie. You're not helping people out. I mean, what's, I mean, what are you doing with your life? Did you ever watch or read the book, uh, the Ramayana? No. It's the story of Buddha. I read it in, in high school. He was a young, rich, like prince, and he was in a walled-off city. And he didn't see nothing but like fine linens and everything. But then, when they would travel as he got older, they put him up in a box and they carry him through or whatever. But he wasn't allowed to look out, and it was forbidden because he saw the suffering. And so he was rich with all these privileges, and he was never going to see poverty, never go hungry, never going to be homeless, never a problem in the world, right? And then he saw what was going on right outside the walls with the people, and he went to like a monastic life. So like we wall ourselves off mentally, I think, to where um, we don't see it. We don't want to deal with not a problem. That's you know, That's exactly what it is. And then some of the Christians do it. All right, they're taking off. All right, they're taking off. Yeah. All right, well, you guys go feed the homeless. Thank right. you. What's your name? Eric. Eric. Eric Green. I'm Julian. Natalie. Natalie, it's nice to meet you. Nice uh, I'll Take see you care. later. Good job. So, actually, I'm going over here to the town. So, there are cops out here. There are homeless out here. It's 1.30. I'm 30 minutes late. So, parking's free. I gave a dollar to a man who's basically a parking attendant um, at will. He just goes out and spends his day helping people find parking spots and just, and you know, some people pay him, some people don't. It's not required, he doesn't cuss you out. He's a nice gentleman. He happens to have black skin and he happens to be homeless. Um, so what are you gonna do? It's only a dollar. I get to park here as long as I want till 6 p.m. I've got 16 parking tickets in this city. Cops are over there messing with something. Let's check it out. There's Bo's husband over there. So it's good to see that the, uh, the people under the bridge are getting some help from an app, some apps, some social media type apps. Very interesting that we're going to use technology to secure these prob social problems. We're not going to cure, but to alleviate. Food is an alleviation, by the way. A cure is, is getting people with a home and not having people homeless. That's the cure. Salad. There's some salad up there. I love salad. Can I get a pineapple and a salad? What's Uh-huh. Yes, sir. Thanks. It's awesome. Thanks, guys. It's a prosciutto. Prosciutto. What is that? It's like bacon. It's like ham and barbecue sauce. Yeah. Before you work, you have two slices, right? Yeah. Okay, I want one of those. Oh, my friend. And I'm going to get one of those. Yeah, we're going to cut You want a different plate? I have meat lovers. Is meat lovers good? That's good. I don't want no onions. All right. <laughs> All right, well, you're getting a good time. I don't want a salad. I can't okay. eat it. Give me two pieces. Okay, they get in there. You get without a plate? Oh, no. oh, there we go. Here you go. Here you go. Anything else? Cucumbers are good for you. What you call it? Meatloaf and tomatoes are good for you. Yeah, you want more barbecue? Let's go back to seconds. Yeah. Thanks. Here you go, man. Which kind? This guy? There's only two kinds. Would you like? Are these two kinds? That's what somebody's taking care of. They're just like, okay, we're going to throw it away. Mm -hmm. Can you throw some salad on this, please, man? That, that's got meat. It's got bacon and pepper. I'm a vegetarian. Oh, awesome. Got some meat lovers. Look at that. Thank you. Good job. Good job, guys. I'm going to go report into the newspaper meeting. You're late, huh? Yeah. Hey, Julian. 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 Hey, Julian.
Namaste, y'all. Be safe. Lizly, activist lizard, 